Hello and good morning, lovely people of the Most High God. How are we doing today? I know that the Lord is strengthening us and He's been graceful unto us. God loves us so much and He always has good plans for us and for our family members. And for that, we rejoice knowing that our Father does not have any ill motives towards us. Hallelujah. My name is Brother Day and I welcome you to today's episode of Live Seeds on OSTV, where we are inspired to serve. We are dealing with how to position yourself even after having knowledge from God so that you use the knowledge to be a blessing unto people. Hallelujah. And today we'll deal with the last one. The last mindset that we must have so that no matter what we have in life, whether be it knowledge, whether be it money, influence, they will not stir us up onto arrogance and pride and being boastful, rebelling against established authority because of what we have that they don't have. Let us share a word of prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for how, because you know and love us, you do not only give us knowledge, but also give us what it takes to make sure that we are well positioned, that we walk in love, that we will be blessings unto people with whatever thing that you bless us with. We thank you for such a time as this. Equip us. Nurture us in your word. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Today I want us to take the last one. And we'll be taking our reading from Acts chapter 9. From verse 3. Acts chapter 9 talks, starts with the encounter that Saul had with Jesus Christ on the road to Damascus. Take it from verse 3. And as he journeyed, he came near Damascus, and suddenly there shined round about him a light from heaven. And he fell to the earth, and heard a voice saying unto him, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? And he said, Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus, whom thou persecutest. It is hard for thee to kick against the bricks. We will take it from verse 7 now and the man which then it with him stood speechless hearing a voice but seeing no man and saw arose from the earth and when his eyes were opened he saw no man but they led him by they led him by the hand and brought him into Damascus hallelujah God bless his word Paul means Jesus Christ he has an encounter with Jesus. And after the encounter, Jesus tells him that he should go to Damascus and he shall be told what to do. So Paul must get to Damascus, a place that Jesus has commanded or ordained for him to be, to receive an instruction which will fulfill whatever thing that he started in him on the road to Damascus. So we say that Paul gets a vision. And the Bible says that the men that were with Paul, they did not see what Paul saw. They heard a voice. Probably they might not even have heard the details of the communication, but they heard a voice. And now, Paul has something that these men do not have. He has seen Jesus. These men haven't seen Jesus. He has received an instruction. These men haven't had that. Even the kind of encounter that he had, these men that are with him do not have that kind of encounter. But you know one surprising thing? When he arose and found out that his eyes couldn't see. He was now blind. He needed the man 
The Bible said that the men led him to Damascus. In other words, for him to get to Damascus, where God or Jesus had sent him to be, he needed the men. Men who did not have the kind of encounter that he had. Men who did not see what he saw. And he had to humble himself so that for these men who do not have what he has, to lead him to the place ordained for him. That is why I present to you, child of God, today, that the people that do not even have the knowledge that you have, sometimes you will need such people to fulfill your ministry. You will need such people to be relevant in this life. If you have a solution, you need people with problems to make your solution relevant in the first place. Else, your solution has no effect in the real life. That is why I keep pondering, I keep hammering on this, that, on this truth that do not hold yourself beyond or above people that do not, that do not have what you have. Do not walk in pride and boast against them. Do not rebel against the elders because they do not have what you have because you will need them to be relevant in this life. David has been anointed by Samuel, but when he gets to fight Goliath, he will need somebody who is called Saul, who is not even anointed like him. Somebody who said that Saul's time is past. David is the one who the Lord has anointed to be king over Israel, but it took the person whose anointing has expired to create a platform for him to be relevant. That is why I say that. Like the man led Paul to Damascus, where he will meet Ananias for his, for hands to be laid upon him so that he will see again, it took the man, it took the man who did not have the encounter that Paul had to lead him there. Many ministers of the gospel, many children of God are working in blindness because they refuse to humble themselves. For people who haven't even encountered God like the way they have, they belittle people. Some of them we even rank ourselves higher because of the kind of gifting that we have. And say that these people, they are ushers. And everybody has me that what kind of how relevant is what they are doing here. We are the people that prophesy. We see into the spirit. And because of that, we walk in pride. Child of God, don't be tempted. Don't be caught up in this error in these last days because i keep saying that for god whatever knowledge that he gives you it is how you treat the knowledge how you use the knowledge that will qualify you for a deeper knowledge in him don't disqualify yourself because what the lord gave you the affluence he gave you the influence he gave you you decided to use them against your fellow men decided to walk in self-aggrandizement to see others as nothing and you as the boss walk in this mindset you will need men you will need men no matter how small you think they are you will need them to be relevant in this life when you have something they don't have still humble yourself and walk with them in love god bless you this is life seeds my name is brother day this has been ost you are inspired to serve me kindly subscribe to our channel on youtube it is ostvgh and on instagram it is ostv underscore gh kindly subscribe to our channels the lord has many things for us god bless you in jesus mighty name amen